When your library is 100% online, it's really important to make sure people are aware that you have these resources. So very quickly, when I first got hired at Coastline, we had a survey that they do every year for students. It's a comprehensive student, student outcome survey. I guess that's what it's called. And the questions in the survey that related to the library weren't really that appropriate, shall we say. They didn't really give me information about how students were using the library. But one thing they did show me is that a lot of students didn't even know that we had a library. So my first year, my goal was to increase awareness. And how you do that is through different types of outreach. And when you think about that, when you think about outreach, it's really important to think about your stakeholders. So the number one stakeholder I like to always think is the student, right? We always think, oh, the student, the student, the student. And that's true. The student really is one of our number one stakeholders. But the door to the student is almost always the faculty when you don't have a physical library like I don't. And so for that, I did a lot of different outreach. And my outreach was directed in different places to different stakeholders. So in my case, there are multiple things I did. The first thing is that I started creating a YouTube channel and I became the face of the library at Coastline. And as much as you might not believe it, I don't necessarily love being on video. But when my students are all over the world, we have a lot of military students who call me from Japan sometimes. Um, when my students are all over the world, I want them to feel comfortable contacting the library. And so because of that, I created a YouTube channel where I answer questions that students and faculty have and created kind of a face of the library. And that was part of our outreach and awareness. And through that, we created videos that we would link under each of the databases that showed them how to search them. We'd answer questions. We have a lot of videos that are inside of Canvas. A lot of the videos I create are not just library related. Like I've created a video about Proctorio, which is our proctoring online program, because a lot of students didn't understand it. And so that was part of the reason I did it, but also because we use it in the library workshops and I wanted students to know about that. My number one video used to be how to log into Canvas and find your class. So YouTube was a really, really good way to kind of create a face of the library. And when I say a face, like I'm talking about this moneymaker right here, um, but ultimately what it was just try to create a safe space for students to feel and they, you know, feel about the library, learn about the library and already come there. The next thing I did for awareness is I worked with our marketing department and we use their social media. So I, for the longest time, was the only person at Coastline College working in the library. And because of that, I was not going to man our own social media accounts. So some of you do have your own social media accounts, and that's awesome. And if you do or if you don't, I would highly recommend working with your marketing department or whoever runs your social media account to kind of have a social media campaign. And this for me in my online in my online library has kind of looked like this. I will create a social media plan for a whole semester, sometimes a whole year, where I will give the marketing team something each week to post. And as new things come up, I will send it to them and say, hey, can you please include this if you have space? Because there's posting all of the social media for the whole college. And so they're doing things like LinkedIn, Facebook. Twitter and Instagram, I think those are the main ones they're on. But in addition to that, the marketing department sends out a student newsletter. And the student newsletter used to be once a month, but they got so much content, they now send it out once a week, and the library is always featured in that newsletter. We also, through the marketing department, have another newsletter that is for faculty and staff. And so that newsletter I also contribute to. And that is once a month. So that's another way that I have worked on the outreach for the library. In addition to that, our faculty senate has their own faculty newsletter. So I also contribute to that. And now the president of our college has started having her own newsletter, which the library also contributes to. And you might be like I was one year where I was like, I'm too busy. Like, I can't do this. I can't do any more of this stuff. And that was the one year that I didn't do the social media marketing with our team. And when our statistics came out back from that student survey, student, what do we call it? That student survey that they do every year. Uh, we had a tiny bit of growth in the library, but it was really small. 
And so this is really, really important in an online library, and actually in any library, is to really find a way that you're continuously marketing through your social networks. Um, that has really, really helped the library. And also when you're talking about your stakeholders, the idea that you're putting information in your staff newsletter and in your president's newsletter really is reminding people how important the library is. So definitely something to think about. It's uh, once you get it set up, it's not hard to maintain, but initially getting it set up might be a little difficult. But I highly, highly, highly encourage this, especially in a time when your library doors might, your physical library doors, not your digital library doors, might be shut. Consider the ways you can work with other groups that are already doing these things on campus. You as a librarian don't need to do them by yourself. And if you do have social media that you run at your library or someone runs there, just make sure that you're kind of consistently having the same message. These have been great for my awareness and my outreach. They definitely have helped, um, helped make the library, our statistics go up for sure, our stats, and um, just a lot of people understand about our resources. So everything has been going up for our usage, and it's been really, really good for our online library. So I hope this will kind of maybe spark some ideas to help you.